Hello, I'm Mark Goldbridge. Welcome to the United Stand. The transfer window is well and truly open. You know how I love the transfer window. We'll have loads of shows for you for the next month. Can't wait to get into that. Felipe Anderson is the first one we're going to talk to. Lazio Brazilian. Spoke about him quite a lot in the summer and he was a player that I remember comparing to Firmino. His goals and his stats for last season were quite good. 22 years of age, 23 in April. Um, plays for Lazio, like I say. Contract till 2020, which is why this fee of about 35 Five million pounds is being thrown about but I'll tell you what I'm going to give a red warning here I like him I wouldn't mind him at Manchester United for it but for a January transfer window signing he's a risk I would put him as probably more of a risk than keeping Nani now that's not to say we should have kept Nani I think you know he'd had chances at Manchester United but I do watch a lot of European football especially Serie A and Anderson Felipe Anderson, whilst he is ambidextrous, two-footed for those of you who don't know the meaning of that word, um, he is two-footed, definitely, but he's predominantly right-footed. He's got a very good right foot, he's very quick, he's very direct, he can shoot from distance, but he's more right-footed than left. He plays on the left-hand side more than he does on the right and cuts in. So he fits into Lee Van Hal straight away. He also fits into that fact that we need a right-sided midfielder, but his statistics for this season have been very, very disappointing. I think he's played, well, I've got the stats here, so why not read them out? He's played 17 games this season for last year at Lazio. He's got four goals and two assists. Not fantastic, not setting the world on light, and not playing very well for Lazio at the moment. So a January transfer window signing for Manchester United? I've got to say, I don't think so. But then again, you just don't know. It's a big, big risk. I don't think he'd come in and make a world of difference straight away. He's certainly a confidence player. When you look back over his career, he's the sort of player who thrives on confidence and spurts of good form. When things start to go bad for him, he starts to go into his shell. Very Nani-esque. Is that the sort of player that Lou Van Gaal should have at Manchester United when you consider that he doesn't mind and does quite a lot by players and then... Well, I say treat them badly. You could say um, drop them to try and make them improve them. And I don't think that would work well for Felipe Anderson. But I've got to say, he's a good player. He's a player that we were looking at in the summer. And he's somebody who excites me because he's quick, direct, and he can play on the right and the left side. And I think we're struggling there big time at the moment, especially with the likes of Memphis having to play Martial out there. Lingard, is he good enough? I think the jury's out on that. And Mata certainly isn't a right side of midfielder. So Felipe Anderson is interesting, but at £35 million, and for the form he's in this season, it's a lot of money. But a lot of players are contracted till 2020, and that is why he will cost that amount of money. Plus, we're Manchester United. Everybody knows we have got a lot of money and it's January and, and you do pay a premium for January transfer window signings. So give us your thoughts on Felipe Anderson. We've got to get a right midfielder. Personally, and a lot of you have been saying this on the comment section, we should be going for Premier League proven. What I would say is that Edward Wood has stood by Lou Van Gaal. Whether that's right or wrong, we've got to just see. But, you know, what I think about that. But the, the, tra the transfer window is open. We should have, we know we need a centre-back, we possibly need a left-back, we need a, a midfielder uh, on the wide, like an Anderson, and we also need a striker. That's four players. I can't believe one minute we'll even get two in January. But we've, if we're going to get them, our season is on the ropes. They should be coming in now. Why are they not coming in now? The eyes are on Woodward now. We'll be with you all through January as usual. We're bringing back the Tuesday and Thursday night and live at 9 o'clock shows for the transfers to talk to you about that. You get involved in the live, live comment section. It's going to be really, really interesting. We're kicking off with Felipe Anderson. I don't personally think it will happen. I would rather... £35 million pounds will get you a Mane and may even get you Mares. Not, not both, but one, one or the other. And that's what we need. We need Premier League proven because whoever comes into our squad, they're coming into a squad that's lacking confidence and they need to hit the ground running. Premier League proven is my word for 2016, whether it's a replacement of Louis van Gaal or players coming into our squad. Premier League proven is what mattered. We can't take any risks on foreigners anymore, whether it's a manager or a, or, a, or a midfielder. Maybe in the summer when you bulk by, but not in January. They've got to be Premier League proven. They've got to hit the ground running. I'd love Lukaku. Don't mess Red Rumours on uh, Monday at 4 o'clock. That is back after the Christmas break. And we'll obviously be having uh, Sunday night live at 9 o'clock, talking some transfers and hopefully a win over Swansea. But we will be live with transfer shows throughout January, hopefully. Felipe Anderson, not for me. Doesn't fit the timing. Maybe in the summer, but not at that price. And he isn't Premier League proven and he's not having a very good season. Albeit, I do rate him. I just think it's a risk. And we've made too many risks and bad decisions in the transfer window over the last 18 months. Thanks for watching. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. It is the United Stand. It is your channel. And get involved. Watch the video on the channel about how you can get involved. Thanks for watching. It's the United Stand.